<laughs> Hello and welcome to Fuel. I'm Peter Davis, all the way from the sunny UK. It's surprising it's not raining really. Anyway, I'm going to be heading back to Malaysia really, really soon and I want to know what's happening in the car scene and what new launches there are and big events. So I'm going to be checking that out today on the internet and you can join me and help to schedule your 2022. Coming up towards the end of the year, we have Malaysia's biggest EV and hybrid vehicle show. It's going to have lots of technology and new things that are happening over the coming decade. 500 plus innovations, 10,000 attendees are supposed to be there. They'll have six different big pavilions and 15 countries will be represented. That's happening on the 27th to 29th of September 2022 at the Malaysia International Trade and Exhibition Centre. Mat trade. There are going to be plenty of different manufacturers there. You might even see an EV model from Proton being shown as a prototype and there'll definitely be the new Prius that will be version 5 coming out soon and on top of that Nissan might show Malaysia what the Nissan Leaf is all about. Tanaga National is also there. Maybe uh, I can go and apply for a discount on my electricity bills. We've got the Mazda MX-30. It's going to be Mazda's first electronic vehicle. It debuted in the Tokyo 2019 Motor Vehicle Show and was reportedly planned for a 2020 launch here in Malaysia. However, the launch was pushed back due to COVID as with everything in our lives was and Mazda now plan to launch in Malaysia in 2022. So keep your eyes peeled and your ear to the ground. The Mazda MX-30 has a 35 5.5 kilowatt battery that powers a motor producing 145 PS of power and 264 newton meters of torque with a range of 224 kilometers which is more than enough to do your daily commute to work and then go home and charge it ready for the next day. Although its range is low, it can charge up to 80% of its battery within 30 minutes to 40 minutes and that is with a 40 kilowatt DC charger. Coming out in 2022 is the Kia EV6. Now this is the first electric vehicle from Kia developed on the electric global modular platform E. GMP. The EV6 will launch in the last quarter of 2022, which allows it to take advantage of the Malaysia's proposed EV tax exemption. The base variant will come with a 58 kilowatt battery and rear electric motor producing 170 PS and 350 newton meters of torque while having a range of 394 kilometers. So that's not too bad if you like to go from KL to close to Penang. The range topping GT model on the other hand has a 77.4 kilowatt battery and outputs 584 PS of power which is huge and 740 newton meters of torque. Where can I buy one? It accelerates from 0 to 100 in just 3.5 seconds. That's some good power right there and a range of 424 kilometers. So that's the one to really look out for this year, 2022 fourth quarter. Let's go. Kia. Nice one. As with many events last year, Metaltech and Automec 2021 went virtual. However, this year they're going to be at MyTech from the 22nd to 25th of June. There's going to be loads of new drive technology, sensory technology, robotics and many, many more electronic gizmos for you to check out. Now, you've all seen the X70, the X50. Check out the link. We're going backwards right now. Are we going to go through the fence? And now the X90. There are rumors that Proton's new car for 2022 could be the X90, which is very exciting. It should be a lot larger and uh, more flamboyant than its younger, or rather, should I say, older brothers now. And it's rumored to be based on the Geely Hayo. The Proton X90 would be a seven-seater SUV. Now it's time for an old face to have uh, a facelift. It's time for the Peridua Elzas, second generation 
codenamed D27A that'll come with a 1.5 litre dual VVTi engine and it comes and CVT transmission and is going to be built on Daihatsu's new global architectural platform. The platform will be shared with other Toyota models like the Avanza and Daihatsu's new Xenia models. The Toyota Prius version 5, that should be out in 2022. Toyota has remained tight-lipped about what it's going to have. Is it going to be a plug-in hybrid or petrol plug-in variant? We don't know, but all we do know is that since 1997, Toyota has been going leaps and bounds with their hybrid technology and each different variant has been amazing compared to its previous model so my version 3 will go 900 kilometers well the computer says so on a single tank of fuel using its hybrid battery to alleviate some of the stress from the petrol engine and the version 4 has a hybrid battery that you can both plug in and on top of that has four times the capacity so what is version 5 going to do we're gonna to have to wait and see what Toyota does. As you can see, there's plenty happening in 2022 in the Malaysian car market. Lots of launches and events, and I'm sure there are plenty more coming out soon. Now, if there is an event that you particularly want us to cover, let us know in the comments down below, and we'll go and do some coverage for you. And if you did like this video, do be sure to like it, subscribe, and maybe share it so your friends can see it too. And until next time, get fueled. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And be sure to check out some of the other videos we've got over here. Maybe that one, or this one, or that one. Remember, get fueled.